able to request information and keep other people informed is a crucial part of every real estate professional's job. In this video, I'll give you eight colloquial expressions that you can use when talking about information in your real estate English. Hi, I'm Jenny from Real Estate English Academy, where we help professionals improve their English skills for real estate. Ever needed to request or share information at your job? If so, these expressions will help you communicate even more naturally in English. Expression one, to catch someone up on something. The expression to catch someone up on something is a great way to talk about keeping someone informed. Maybe they need the latest information on the status of a project or on contract negotiations. I'll be in touch after the meeting and catch you up on what we discussed. Thanks for catching me up on the latest developments. I'll be at the office a few minutes late today. I need to catch up on the project status before I meet with the client this afternoon. Expression two, to get someone up to speed. The expression to get someone up to speed is another way to talk about catching someone up or making sure they have the latest information. Let's meet for lunch and you can get me up to speed on the latest market trends. Now that John has gotten you up to speed, we can discuss the next steps. How about I call you this afternoon? That way I can get you up to speed on the tenant's plans for next year. Expression three, to keep someone in the loop. The expression to keep someone in the loop refers to keeping someone up to date and making sure they have the information they need about a project or situation. Let's send George the details of the meeting and keep him in the loop. We need to make sure we keep the client in the loop during the construction phase. These regular update reports will keep us in the loop during the renovation. Expression four, to be in touch. The expression to be in touch means that you will reply to someone or contact someone in the relatively near future, often to provide them with information or to discuss further steps. I'll be in touch sometime next week about the blueprints. We'll be in touch as soon as the city has made a decision about our rezoning application. He said he would be in touch soon to schedule the meeting. Expression five, to drop someone a line. To drop someone a line is another way of saying that you will be in touch or contact someone in the near future. I'll drop you a line next week and we can talk about our negotiation strategy. Just drop me a line and we can schedule a conference call with the architect. She said she would drop me a line as soon as her client confirmed the meeting. Expression six, to get back to someone. Similar to the expression to be in touch, the expression to get back to someone refers to contacting someone with a response or returning their call or email. You can also use it when requesting information. It would be great if you could get back to me with the client's comments sometime today. I'll get back to you with the details by the end of the week. He'll get back to you as soon as he returns to the office. Expression seven, to touch base. The expression to touch base means to communicate or contact someone, usually briefly and informally. I thought I would write to you and touch base about our progress with the listing. He touched base yesterday and said that the client received 
board approval. I just wanted to touch base and see if you have discussed the owner's terms with the investors on the shortlist. Expression eight, to look into something. To look into something means to find out information about something. I'm not sure if the landlord has made a decision about offering a rent-free period. I'll look into it and get back to you tomorrow. We're having some problems with our internet connection. Could you look into it for me? The property manager will look into the tenant's complaints and send us a report as soon as possible. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. See you next week.